Hey there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Glam with Suzanne. For those that are new, thank you so much for stopping by. And today I have one of my favorite videos of the month to do, and this is the BoxyCharm unboxing. I have my July base box here, that's the $25 subscription. We're gonna go through all the products inside, I'll let you know my thoughts and opinions, we're gonna try the products out. So if that interests you, be sure to continue on. you know what it is if you are not part of my glam squad what are you waiting for all you have to do is smash that subscribe button and be sure to click the bell notification so you don't miss when i upload and if you want to see even more of me you could follow me on my instagram pages glam with suzanne and boxy charm sneak peek for even more boxy charm spoilers and just a whole bunch of updates on there as well so for those that are new to the world of boxy charm boxy charm is a beauty subscription box it's available on a monthly basis the one that i'm showing you today is 25 dollars for five full-size items and they have a guaranteed value of $125 or more. BoxyCharm does offer other subscription types as well. They have the BoxyCharm Premium and they have BoxyLux, which is available on a quarterly basis. So this is going to be the base box. And this month I actually have two base boxes to share with you guys. So look forward to two different videos. There'll be this one and there'll be another one next week. And I also have my July Premium box as well, which is the six items for $35 with a value of $175 or more. So there will be at least two videos coming to you guys next week with boxy charm unboxings as well so look forward to that and be sure that you're subscribed and you have the bell notification on but without further ado let's get right into the unboxing and i just can't wait to have a look actually i did have a little bit of a sneak peek before the video there is one product that i already tried on before i put on my complexion product so we're going to start off with that one and the other thing that i wanted to add before i jump into the unboxing is keep in mind that the base box comes in so many different variations so you may get some of the products that you see in today's video or you may get different variations of other products as well so i'd love to hear from you guys what variation you receive in the comment section below so now let's go ahead and jump in so the very first thing that you see when you open up your boxy charm box is this little pamphlet and it tells you all the information of the different products that you have in your box it also shares the theme of the month which is sunshine which is also perfect for the month of july and i love the little citrus slices there i think they're limes but very very cute and like poolside love the whole theme and on the back it tells you the variation the products the retail price and kind of a little information of how to use the products as well and I received my box in variation number 13, which you can always catch on the bottom corner of your little pamphlet. If you didn't receive a hard copy of this, you usually will have received it in your email, so be sure to check that now out. Let's go ahead and jump in with the very first product up. And that is by The Crumb Shop. The product by The Crumb Shop is the Clean Canvas Color Correcting Cushion Primer. So it's supposed to be able to even out any color correction that you may need. This is the green color corrector, which helps with any redness. I actually applied it to the center part of my nose, which you'll be seeing in a clip, probably a side-by-side -side clip. And it's supposed to also help with 12 hours of makeup elongation. So I guess it's supposed to help with your wear time as well and just create the perfect and smooth canvas for your complexion products. So I'll show you what this looks like. This does come in a very cute packaging. It's like a little ombre situation, very, very adorable. The top part is glossy and just really, really cute. It is a compact, so you do get a mirror inside as well. So you can take a look, there's a mirror in there. For those that don't know, the Crumb Shop is a Korean beauty brand and I know that they sell it in different parts of the US. So it comes with a little cushion applicator and I actually use this to push the product into my skin before I applied my complexion products. This is what it looks like. And I will show you kind of like how much product you can pick up. It does pick up quite a bit of product and the green color is quite pigmented as well. When I did apply this on my skin, I looked crazy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I initially applied it, I was like overwhelmed because it initially looked very, very ashy and almost like a white cast versus like a color corrector that's green. But I was able to pull through and surprisingly, it did get rid of the redness around my nose. Sometimes I get seasonal allergies. Sometimes I'm just blowing my nose and it just gets a little bit red um, and it did tone that down completely so the product did work and I found it to be quite helpful and this product by the crumb shop retails for $20 I don't usually use a green color corrector. Normally I use orange for under my eyes just because I do have a little bit of darkness under there um, that I'm trying to brighten. But my days with really big like acne spots have kind of passed me a little bit, at least when I'm not having hormonal breakouts. And this would be perfect if you have any acne spots or pimples that are red, this will counteract that redness. So I could definitely appreciate getting a color corrector in our box. It's something a little bit different. So I'm always here for something just a little bit more unique and something that we're not usually getting on a monthly basis. So now let's see what other products we have to play with digging back into the box for item number two and that is in bubble wrap let's see what it is 
it's a cute little palette and this is by ace beauty and it is their bronzed in paradise palette now i did see another variation of this online and i was so excited to be able to receive this because i love bronzers especially in the summertime and from what i saw online that this is a matte bronzer so this is what the palette looks like it's really really cute kind of like a really nice bronzy vibe and on the back that's what it looks like and this is supposed to be a quad so let's open her up and take a look Ooh, and I think that these are gonna work perfectly for my complexion, so this makes me really, really happy. So this bronzer features four different shades, which I really do like, and it can be layered on top of liquid, cream, or other powder complexions, which is absolutely perfect that it's so versatile. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out, and because there isn't an eyeshadow palette in today's box, I'm gonna use it to create an eye look as well. I actually have one other eye product in the box, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this as the foundation for that eye product, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and start bronzing up our face because I am looking a little pale, that's for sure. I didn't contour really intensely or didn't bronze before the video intentionally. So let's go ahead and jump right in. To bronze my face, I'm gonna use this angled brush by Alamar Cosmetics, and we did receive this in a previous BoxyCharm box before, and I love this brush. And for the bronzer shade, I'm going to start off perhaps with this shade just because I'm a little concerned that it's gonna get really dark on me really fast. Sometimes the shades do look lighter in the pan. And then if not, I'll mix a little bit of this color as well. I do feel like this color is beautiful for someone who has a deeper complexion than me, but it just might be a little bit too red for me personally, but we'll go ahead and see how this goes. So let's try it out. Ooh, and that's perfect. I actually don't need to go too much deeper than that. I feel like that does the trick on its own. And I'm just pulling more of the second shade to define my nose a little bit. And I'm just gonna go from here and bring it downwards. Again, you could always add more, it's harder to take away. So definitely go light-handed, especially because this formula is super, super pigmented. And you can just see that it's defining that little area over there to give it a little bit more structure to my face. You don't have to do this, I just prefer it, um, but it's definitely not necessary. And just a little under the nose to lift it a little bit. and just a little there to kind of give it a little bit more of a lift as well. So to make the nose contour look a little bit more defined, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of the Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder that we also received in BoxyCharm. And it's just gonna clean up that little bronzed area to kind of make it look really nice and clean and sharp. Just tapping this on. And it looks crazy, don't worry, but we're gonna go ahead and buff it out afterwards. And this is perfect if you don't want to do like a really intense um, liquid contour, which takes a lot of practice to get it right. This way you can kind of get the same results without taking that much time. And I feel like it's a lot easier for beginners as well. And then I'm just going to go down the nose bridge as well with the same setting powder. And there you have it. It looks absolutely crazy right now, but, but don't worry, we're gonna go ahead and brush it off and it's gonna look really nice and snatched in just a few moments. So now I'm just gonna brush away that setting powder because we don't need that anymore. And it's cleaned up any of my messiness when I was applying the bronzer. So there you have it, that's the final result. And the shades in this palette, I feel like are gonna be complementary to a lot of different complexions out there, which I always really like, because when we do get bronzers in the past, sometimes they are just not deep enough to do much for anyone with deep complexion, but this one is absolutely perfect. And I absolutely love that they are a matte formula because you could really get in there and contour with these. Since there's no eyeshadow palette in my box this month, I'm gonna use this product also as an eyeshadow. But first I'm gonna go in with my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base to start. And you guys know how much I love this eye base. It's the perfect start before any eyeshadow look because it makes them pop, it makes them super long wearing. And the best part is that Gerard Cosmetics is actually having a sale right now where it's 51% off the entire website, which is such a limited time. It's called the July Black Friday sale. And I'll go ahead and leave a link down down below in case you guys are interested. You guys know how much I obsess over Dry Cosmetics products on this channel, especially their Hydra Mattes. They are beautiful. That's their liquid lipstick that is like really comfortable and long wearing. And I love this eye base, of course, and their setting sprays, which is the Slay All Day Setting Spray. So you guys definitely need to check them out because I think it ends on July the 14th, but I'll leave some information down below in case y'all are interested. Now I'm just buffing out this base and it doesn't have to be really clean or anything like that. We're just trying to get a really nice start. For the transition, I'm gonna go in with this shade over here and I'm just buffing it right in there. 
I'm just going to deepen the outer corner a little bit more. And I'm just going to tap that product in to get it as opaque as possible. This makes such a beautiful eyeshadow, guys. I'm so, so, so surprised at how well it's working as an eyeshadow. It's a really beautiful matte formula, but it still has so much pigment in it for a bronzer. So if this bronzer is too dark for your complexion, then this will be the perfect matte eyeshadow for you. Look at how pretty that color is. Diffuse it a little bit more, so I'm just gonna bring it upwards and continue to buff out. Perfect, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with this shade as well and buff it out just to give it a really nice smoky look. And I'm just stamping it onto the lower lash line to start, and then I'm gonna buff it out. Here is the shape that I'm going for. I'm going to use a different shade on the lid part. You could just get so many different uses out of this one palette and I couldn't be happier to get this product in my box. Now I cannot wait to show you the next product up. It's been one that I've been dying to try out. Item number three is this product over here and I'm so excited that I got this product in my box. This is a variation item so not every single person will be getting it but I am so 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 very thrilled. I don't even care what color it is. It is Rapture. For those that don't know why I am so excited, this is the product by Hourglass, and this is their Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow, and it's supposed to be a weightless refined glitter eyeshadow infused with light reflecting pearls, and it's a hybrid cream formula, and it's reflective and buildable, and it retails for $29. It comes in a whole bunch of colors, but when I saw the spoiler for this, I was like, oh, I hope I get this. So I'm super excited that I have it in my hands. So let's see what the Rapture color looks like. And this is what the packaging looks like. Just super, super sleek, very on theme with Hourglass. And this is the back. Look at the color. It's like this really nice coppery red color. I'm so excited that we are getting Hourglass in our BoxyCharm boxes, especially because they are such a high performance luxury beauty brand and we're getting them at a $25 subscription. I couldn't be happier. This product comes with a plastic cap, I assume, to keep the cream formula from drying out. And I can't wait to swatch this product. Unfortunately, my nails are so long right now that I'd be digging into it. So I'm gonna pick it up on a brush. So here's the color. Look at how beaming that is. This definitely has a nice base color to it as well. It's not just a glitter eyeshadow. There's a base of like a nice coppery red, like I was saying before, but there are definitely a lot of flecks of glitter in this, specifically like gold glitters, maybe with a little bit of pink iridescence to them but absolutely beaming, beaming, beaming. I hope that many of you guys do get this product because it looks super, super exciting. I cannot wait to put it all over my eyelids. So let's go ahead and jump in. Whenever you're using a cream product, it's always best to go in with your hands, um, but my nails are super long right now. This product is definitely buildable, guys. You could really sheer it out so it looks like just like a glitter, or you could really pack it on and you get tons of color out of it. So I'm loving how this eye look is turning out so far. Now we're gonna dig back into the box to see what else we have. Moving on to item number four. And what is this little guy? This item is by Nude Sticks and it's their Rock and Roller. This item is a liquid eyeliner and it's supposed to be high pigment, sweat proof, smudge proof, waterproof liner that stays put for 24 hour wear. That's pretty interesting. And it does have an ultra fine roller ball that glides onto the lash line. Um, I have seen this online and personally I thought this was a little gimmicky when I first saw it. Um, I don't know how I feel about rollers like this, but I will show you what it looks like. I was able to get a really thin line when I use it on my hand, but it's always a little bit more challenging to use it on your eyes. A little scared, I'm not going to lie, I don't want to ruin this eye look. Um, but I do really like nude sticks, so we're going to give this a try. This product does retail for $26 and it comes in different shades as well. So I will say that this applicator, as I predicted, is actually very challenging to use. It rolls around on you quite a bit and it doesn't really pick up that much product. So you get areas that are not really well dispersed. So I'm not a fan of the applicator at all, <laughs> like at all. I usually find it really, really easy and fast to put on my liquid liner. That's never been a challenge for me. And with this product, it definitely is a lot more challenging. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use my own liquid liner off camera, and then we'll be back to continue with the rest of the unboxing. So I completed the rest of my makeup off camera because the last item in the box is really not a makeup product. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into item number five in my July base box. 
and it is by Clean Skin Club. And this, this item over here, I was really lucky enough to receive in PR before I actually received the box. So thank you to Clean Skin Club for that. It's the Vitamin C Brightening Booster. It has watermelon, green tea, and pineapple in it. And this product is described as a super potent vitamin C brightening booster that supercharges your cream or your serum to firm, brighten the appearance of your skin while naturally giving you a younger, regenerated look. It's a concentrated formula that contains watermelon, green tea extracts which help reduce sun damage and even out your skin tone and improve the appearance of age and stressed skin. So I am always here for some skincare products because they are usually so expensive to buy on your own. So I love that this is in a subscription box. And this product retails for $49.95. And I have been testing this product out for a few days now and it smells absolutely delicious. It has like the fruitiest scent to it. It's not overwhelming. It's a really natural fruit smell. As you guys know, it's really hard to tell if skincare is working for you unless you use it consistently for a few weeks just to see how your skin is changing and how your skin is liking the product, if it likes it or if it doesn't. But I will continue to test this product out. So babes, I had so much fun being able to go through this entire unboxing with you guys. As per usual, at the end of the video, I always go through all the products and tally up the entire total of this box. Keep in mind that I received variation number 13 and different variations will be valued at different price points. But this variation has a value of $154.95, which is absolutely amazing considering you only pay $25 for this subscription box. Now there were some hits and there were some misses in this box, so let's talk about them. The very big hit in this box would have to be between two products, I will say that it's a tie, between the Hourglass Scattered Glitter Eyeshadow. This one is just so bomb. I love the color that I received, I love the formula, I love how foiled it is, how beautiful it is, and it doesn't require much work to really build it up. And then there is this beautiful bronzer over here. I was pretty impressed with this. I didn't really know what to expect because this is a brand new launch for Ace Beauty. But this is the perfect matte bronzer and the shades couldn't be more beautiful at least in my opinion i think it's going to work for a lot of different complexions out there which is really really amazing to find a bronzer palette that's going to work for people with a deeper complexion so this makes me super super happy but like i mentioned there was a miss in this box one in particular that i really didn't like and this is the nude sticks rock and roller eyeliner this applicator is just so difficult to use. Yes, I agree that it's a wheel and you can just wheel it in a straight line, but honestly, wing liners are not really a straight line, as you guys know. Like, you need to go upwards, you need to curve it a little bit. So to do that fine detail work, a wheel doesn't really work for me. Now, you might be able to get it to work for you, especially if you're just doing a tight line. This will definitely work for that. And the formula is pretty because it's a really nice dark black color, but the applicator is just a miss for me, and I just can't imagine myself fussing with this in the future just to keep it completely honest with you guys overall i will tell you guys how impressed i am with my july base box especially compared to my previous base box i think it was last month or the month before that i wasn't really wowed by it but this box really has come through for the win and for those that have seen the august spoilers that i've been posting they are complete fire there are some absolutely amazing spoilers coming out for the august box as well so you guys have to definitely stay tuned for even more august spoilers so i do thank you guys so much for spending your time with me and today video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you guys are interested in subscribing to boxy charm or learning a little bit more i'll leave a link in my description box below and let me know what products you receive in your variation in the comment section below i'm always interested to see what you guys are receiving in your boxes i cannot wait to see you guys for the next set of videos to come i have another base box and i have another premium box coming up for BoxyCharm in the next week. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell notification so you don't miss those videos. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page, Glam with Suzanne, where I'll be posting this full look along with all the products that I used that were not in my box. And be sure to follow me at BoxyCharm Sneak Peek for even more BoxyCharm updates. Thank you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you guys really, really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.